All right, now the other type of self-defense that we're going to talk about in class is a control defense. And again, this is just a name we use here at the school to kind of encompass any type of uh, situation where somebody tries to grab you, to hold you, to, to control you. And that's where the name comes from. So they could be grabbing your wrist. They could grab your, your collar. They could, they could even try to put you in a headlock. They could grab you around your body like a, like a bear hug. Any of those, as long as they're grabbing you, not trying to hit you, but grabbing you, we consider it a control defense. And we look at those a little bit differently than we do the attack defenses. The first one we're going to look at is somebody grabbing your wrist. All right, again, remember I told you I want you to learn how to practice without anybody else there to assist you. So you always have the ability to practice at home, whether you have someone there who can train with you or not. And that's how we're going to do this one again today. So somebody grabs my wrist and he's holding on to my wrist. Now, when you have a wrist grab, you have four fingers grabbing and you have one thumb. All right. Now, if you had to choose between fighting four people or fighting one person, which would you rather do? One person. Now, it's no different when we do our wrist grab escapes. So when someone grabs me, I don't want to pull down. If I pull down one, two, three, four, I'm having to fight all four fingers. If I try to pull my hand out by pulling straight back, I'm fighting one, two, three, four, five, all five fingers, thumb as well, right? I don't want to do that. I want to fight just the thumb. The thumb's going to be a lot weaker than the other fingers as well. So the person grabs me, I want to pull straight up to go just against the thumb. And you're going to see this, what it would look like right here. So somebody has my wrist or grabbing it, I want to pull my hand up, okay? I'm going to make that stronger by stepping back and pulling it up. You have to pull up. Don't pull your arm back. Everybody wants to do that at first. You've got to pull up, all right? Now, the other thing to look at, too, is when you pull up, their arm's going to come up. So we're going to have a very simple way of making their arm stay down. And that mo motion right there is about what you're going to have to do. They grabbed your wrist, you're going to take this hand here, you're going to shoot down, you're going to hit them in the wrist really hard. And as you do, you bring your other hand up. So as you swing up with this hand, you slap down with the other. It pops your hand out. It's up here by your face. You're going to use a palm thrust. That means you just take your palm and you punch with just your palm, not your fist. Boom, right to the face. From there again, just like we did before, if you're done, shove them away, you create space, create distance by getting back. So the person grabs my wrist right here. I'm going to step back, pull up, and hit down. I'll take my hand from here, boom, right to the face. All right. And then again, if I'm done, I could keep going. I could maybe kick them or, or try to grab and throw them, but we're done. So I'm going to shove them away and I'm going to hop back to create that distance. That's very important because if you ever were trying to defend yourself and you just froze and you forgot what to do and you couldn't think what to do next, well, you, every time you've done technique in here, you should be practicing to create that space. So if you freeze, you can shove the person, jump away, and that might give you a time to relax just a little bit and regain your, your kind of your composure and realize, oh, wait a minute, I'm supposed to keep my hands up. I'm supposed to defend. I'm supposed to punch, supposed to kick. It might help you out a lot. Same thing to be said when you're sparring and grappling. If you start in class and you're wrestling in class or, or you're going, sometimes you need that extra bit of time to think. Now, grappling, I wouldn't push anybody away. That's kind of a no-no. But with the sparring, you could shove them and drop back, and it allows you to move away from them so that you can't get hit while you're trying to get ready for what you're going to do next, okay? If you have any other questions, remember, that's, these are great things to talk about in class, so please either catch me in class and ask those questions or see me after class if you feel more comfortable and ask me at the front desk, all right? That was your control defense where someone grabs you and you got away. Remember, always pull up on that wrist grab.